welcome back. So I have a Costco haul to share with you. Plus I did go into a Walmart to get a few things. Okay, this is my very first Costco haul ever. I, it's been maybe since 2007 since I've been to a Costco. Can you believe that? Very, very long time. So I only spent $116 on my first Costco haul. So I think that's pretty good, right? I think that's pretty good. So let me tell you what we did purchase, which I was like, oh my goodness. Yes, Costco. These big bins, they were $7.99. So my husband and I were like, okay, we might like Costco. We might like Costco because that's such a good price. So $7.99, we did grab two. We might go back and get some more. It's just Costco was so busy. I don't know. Okay, you guys, Costco shoppers, how do you handle it? I feel like everybody is on each other's booty and it's just like it's so stressful so what is the best time to shop at costco of course we went on a sunday morning but it, i don't know i'll have to get used to it's just it's a lot when you're haven't been in forever it's a lot so give me tips and tricks my costco shoppers let me know what i should be purchasing and give me everything that i'm need to know about Costco because it was a little stressful, but I survived. Okay, so love days coming up and I thought this was so good. So you get, we paid $11.99 for this, which is pretty good. You get a variety pack. I absolutely love it. So what I'm gonna do, okay, so did you guys know that Rose Forever is at Costco right now? You get like red roses. I think they're in a heart box, but they're in the, um, a black box, which is so pretty. They're real roses. They were $99, which I think is a pretty, pretty good price. So what I'm going to do with these chocolates, if you go onto Rose Forever, their website, they're having a 60% off sale, which is really good. So if you purchase them at, you know, Costco, that is amazing. But the ones that I have, so this is why I purchased this because I thought this was so pretty. Here's the white roses. It has a little compartment right here so you can open it up. So what I thought would be so pretty is to take these candies and set them in there and then kind of like gift it to someone. I think that's awesome. So definitely be on the lookout. Like I said, you can get them at Costco, which I think is pretty good. $99 is a really good price, but if you go online, you can get them up to 60% off and you're gonna find some really good things. They come in different colors, different sizes, variety. I mean, you name it. There's something for everyone, but I just really love this because you can go a little extra step and then put little chocolates on the bottom and then they can have their chocolates and then they can use it for perfume or makeup or whatever but this is the one that I have and I just love them I think they're just a great company real roses they're guaranteed to last a year and honestly they last longer than a year I have some that are like two to three years old now and they look still they look good but they're guaranteed for up a year but I'm telling you they last a lot longer so yeah I want to give you like an idea because I was like oh this would be so pretty and then Costco had this for $11.99 and I thought that was amazing so definitely check out Rose Forever they're at Costco who who knew and then if you shop their website they're up to 60% off which is really really good so definitely check them out I love my Rose Forever but I was like oh my gosh Costco I'm this is it's all new to me because I'm a, I'm a new I'm a, I'm a newbie with the Costco okay if you guys watch any of my grocery outlet hauls and I raved I raved about this fettuccine like alfredo sauce oh my gosh you guys okay so grocery outlet has it it's the only place that i can think of that had it costco has it too so definitely be on the lookout and it's going to be cheaper at costco this thing i think was 11.99 so you're saving a little bit of money shopping at costco if you see this oh my goodness pick this up this is the best alfredo sauce it's like creamy it just it tastes it hits a little different it tastes homemade so i had to pick that up okay we get this at grocery outlet and i pay i think six dollars and some change but it's a lot i mean it's a big bag but it's smaller than this bag so this was about the same price and i mean holy moly you get 10 pounds 
of pancake mix. So my daughter loves pancakes. We have the dash, little dash, um, little waffle makers. They have those there at Costco too. They had a whole bunch with all different types of like holidays and stuff, which is kind of cool. So I thought that was a really good price. So I stocked up on this. I'm going to have to kind of like look at prices and see what things I should be purchasing at Costco than grocery outlet. So if you have a grocery outlet and a Costco, do you shop both? Let me know what you think. What is more cheaper at Costco than grocery outlet? So far, I'm seeing a little bit of some savings, which as you guys know right now, I mean, any savings I'll take. Okay. Another thing that I thought was really good. Okay, this big old thing of corn chips, I think was around $6. So you get three pounds for $6. I'm trying my best to remember prices, but, uh, cause it was so overwhelming. There's so many people I'm not used to. It's gonna, it's gonna take a, a minute for me to get used to Costco, but. It was, it was $5.98. Oh, was it $5.98? See, Mr. Pookie, he, he. It was it was a lot, but that's that's good. That's a good price. So we stocked up on that for the Super Bowl. Okay, and then I the pizza is a really good deal, and my kids love pizza. So we have the Kirkland cheese pizza. This was like eleven dollars, I think, or some change. Maybe it was ten ninety eight. I think that's how much it was. But that's pretty good. Do you guys like it? I don't know if my kids are gonna like it. So. I just kind of purchased a few things and then we'll test things out to see if we like it or not. But if you guys have recommendations for their pizza or any of like their stuff, let me know what you buy at Costco. What's your favorite? Help a girl out because it's so overwhelming. I don't know. I was like, I don't know where to start. Okay, another thing that I did grab, this is the Tyson. It's the chicken strips. It's like a rotisserie seasoned. So I thought this was really good. I'd love to eat this like in the morning. I'll just put it in the air fryer. I've never seen this. So it's 110 calories for three ounces. So I thought this was good. I want to say it was like $17. So I'm not quite sure if that's like a good deal or not, but you get three pounds. So I'll have to check my other stores now and I'll have to like really like do the math constantly in my head to see like price wise and stuff. Okay. And then, oh, okay, so another great thing, I will say, tortillas by, I mean, hands down, Costco's got everybody beat. This was around $6. I cannot touch, back in the day, I used to touch tortillas like this for around $6, but they've gone up to like eight, nine bucks everywhere else. And this is the, uh, you get two 20 counts. So that's pretty good. So Costco, and I'm thinking of getting my dog food at Costco too, because it seems like they've got a pretty good prices. So it's just gonna be, it's gonna be fun and interesting. Okay, eggs we all know have gone up. They're um, a 60 count. We were just at Walmart and it went up to, it's $19 and some change, almost 20, yeah, 1907. Mm. But Costco had the, um, 24 eggs for around, was it four dollars? Six? It was, it was almost four I something? Was, I think it was five bucks. Four yeah, something like that. So we just picked that up. So actually, that's pretty cheap considering all the other ones. I'll have to, like I said, I shop at like Winco, um, Walmart, grocery outlet. So I'll have to kind of do the math. But that was really amazing. And then, okay, you guys know that my husband loves almond butter. We're alert. We have peanut allergy in this house. And so he got the almond butter. This is a Kirkland. So he's going to see whether he likes this brand better than the other, but you get 27 ounces. How much did you pay for this one? 869. 869. And I think he has it in the refrigerator. How many ounces is that? This one is 27 ounces. Yeah, so 16 ounces was seven bucks. Okay, so here's kind of like what, you know, cause I'm all about penny pinching. Like I wanna know, I want the deal. So see the difference and it's about pretty much the same, you know, price on this one. And this is the Trader Joe's. We have different brands, but if you go to Trader Joe's, I mean, obviously this is your better, you know, but so it just depends. He might try it and then be like, I don't like it and we'll go back, but. You never know. Okay, another good thing. This big old thing right here, can you guys see? Right there, it is their barbecued pellets. This was $12.99, $11.99, $12.99. It was $12.99 and it's 
forty pounds. Yeah, twelve ninety nine for forty pounds, which beats Lowe's, yeah. right? It's Lowe's because you get twenty pounds for or twenty to I think twenty or thirty pounds, and it's like seventeen, eighteen bucks. So right there. So I think just like you guys were saying, Lisa, it's kind of like a hit, hit or miss. You save on some things and other things, which I honestly feel like that's with every store so you guys give me just send the tips on just keep anytime you I, you can just comment i don't even care how many times just if you just think about just just let me know because i'm curious so that's what i got that if you're hearing noise mr pookie always puts my groceries away okay so i had to go into walmart because when we the Super Bowl is coming up none of our teams made it but we're you know now it's like woohoo party we don't care so my son asked for the, he wants Mr. Pookie's hamburgers in the pretzel bun. And if you have not tried his recipe, I'll leave that video at the end. His hamburgers are amazing. Even when people come over and they're like, eh, I'm not very much of a hamburger person. They'll have like two or three and we're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so he makes good hamburgers. So the pretzel buns, we'll probably just cut them in half or something because we're gonna do a whole bunch of little little tiny snacks, but my son requested Mr. Pookie hamburgers with a pretzel buns. These were like $2 and some change, which I thought was pretty good. Um, you get quite a bit in here, so, and we're gonna cut them in half, so. There's that, okay. My oldest needed a restock up on the Taco Bell Chipotle. She loves this stuff. This is like, she's such a picky eater. And this stuff kind of goes fast. Sometimes we can find it, sometimes we don't, depending on what Walmart. So th it is really good. Honestly, it's delicious. She puts it in her cheese quesadilla. So since I'm there, I just pick it up for her. They have their own jobs and their own things. But, you know, as a mom, when you see stuff that your kids like, you're like, oh, I'm just, you know, it's the little things. Help, helping them out a little bit. Mr. Buki needed some heavy whipping cream for his coffee. And then we were out of fries. Yeah, we went through a lot of fries this last two or three months. So I needed just another one. So it was like $6 for their fries. My kids love this one. It's the seasoned French fries batter mix. It is delicious. You put them in the air fryer and I mean, it's 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 pretty good. We needed a mozzarella. I know, I need to do, Mr. Pookie and I were like, we need to do the block cheese and shred our own cheese. But, because this was like $7. So that is on my list to get a, you guys let me know like a food processor if you shred your cheese what do you use let me know what you use so that i can like purchase something because i'm kind of like oh there's so much out there so if you shred your own cheese what do you use i have one of those like big mixers and i thought maybe getting the attachment so you guys let me know help me out and then i thought this was kind of interesting so new goldfish is on three dollars and 98 cents but i love 372? Okay, see? I, I think Costco got me today, you guys. It's a lot. I was stressed. I was stressed. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. And everybody's just running. Just they, A lot of people just don't care. They'll just, whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, I found this and it's the salt and vinegar. And I was like, oh, I love salt and vinegar potato chips. And so I thought, this might be good. And I have one kiddo in the house that loves salt and vinegar. So I thought she would like that as well. And then we did get the rising cheese pizza just to have on backup, $3 and some change, or was it $4 and some, I think it's $3 and some change. So the great value, we always get our pizza, but if Costco, you know, is pretty good, we might switch over depending. Of course, the Mac attack. I found some more, they had a lot. So I did go ahead and pick up three uh, rollback still on 547 or something like that, which is really good. So anytime I see stuff, like we have deep freezers, there's one at Costco, they have a tall standing freezer that's like $3.99. Have you guys seen that? Did anybody purchase that? Do you like it? Because I'm thinking, I really like that one. Instead of having the one where you're open, I love the, you know, the chest. But it'll be nice for certain things like meat or something like that where, you know, you can just... And me being five foot nothing, it's kind of... <laughs> Can you, can you just imagine me trying to get into the deep? Yeah, it's a struggle. So that would kind of be nice. I don't like fall into the chest, you know? So let me know if you, if you purchase that or if you know anybody, do they like it? Cause $3.99, I mean, that's a really good deal. That's a really good deal. And Mr. Pookie, we're, he's fixing the 
dryer because our dryer is busted today and he's like I'm not like can I have this let's not cook and I was like okay he had been eyeing this forever and I was like all right <laughs> okay okay so it's the rising crust bacon jalapeno pizza it sounds pretty good so I was like all right let's treat ourselves with some pizza tonight I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking out the time and spending with me and I I will talk to you guys very soon take care bye